Damn, this game is loud. There we go. For me, it's loud for me. Presumably, presumably the mic's working. Twitch seems to think I'm live. I'll take it. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. A plus, all right, brilliant. Go away, go away, surface. All right, uh, yes. Welcome to, once again, the Monday night sci-fi AI guy Twitch stream in which I discuss, or in which I play games that are sci-fi in nature, um, that have some AI in them, uh, philosophically, in some respect. Whew. Hoping to um, kick through a bunch of beat boots, because this game is fucking beat boot rich. We'll see how that goes. There's a lot of them. I find I have to space things out, but the great thing is I get to space out the beat boots with me going very quiet, because there are very, very difficult puzzles in this game. Um, I've already become stuck on one of them that I'm leaving until later. Uh, which, apparently, according to my excellent chat, um, that puzzle's bullshit and completely non-intuitive. Or some degree of that. This is, this, is the, this is the impression that I got. Oh, Place of Old, uh, saying, Hey guys, got the volume off, but I will stay in chat until I can head to my room after family is gone. Hey, no worries, Place of Old. Um, you've got the volume off, so I can't... <laughs> I can't express this to you uh, myself. Um, but... Yes, should you ever rewatch this, um, my thoughts are with you. Oh, wait another couple minutes. See who we snare. See which of the usuals can make it. Hmm, so what happened last time? What was last week's content? Uh, I got really mad at um, the dialogue options. I remember that. That was cool. That was fun. Who enjoyed that? Who enjoyed me getting really mad? Um, usual bullshit, usual thing of selecting one option, um, getting something that the option didn't quite indicate or didn't indicate at all by my reading of it. Uh, this is the problem with language. There's never going to be a dialogue system that works well for all people, I suspect, if only because, well, if only because, um, you know, some people will find it elemental and intuitive and great, and other people will be like, I, I have no, well, what, what did that mean, what was that about, right? Um, yeah, there's only going to be a dialogue tree or system that works for you. I don't like dialogue systems that withhold information, that's what I find frustrating. That being said, I'm pretty sure Mass Effect withheld a bunch of information, and the writing always felt in tune with what I was being pitched. Or almost always. There was a couple of renegade options where you just out and out slug somebody and I didn't know that was coming. But yeah, I feel like Mass Effect did a good job for me. Uh, this game has not, unfortunately. Oh, poor place of old. Oh, well, um, place of old as always. Um, yeah, if you can hear this, or when you hear this, uh, yeah, if you need to bow it at any time, totally okay, totally acceptable, totally fine. Ah yes, Crafty reminding me we were RPing as an asshole messenger of Elohim. Yes, unfortunately, we're, I was already going to RP as somebody, you know, pious, because I had reason this time to give a shit about Elohim, but it just went a bit far. Um, and also, we haven't been given nearly enough information about this apocalypse to be a true messenger, really in the way that it feels like the character I'm playing has more information than I do, the player, and yet I'm making choices on how to convey this information, right? And that's that's not great. It's not a great turn of events. Oh, we have a weenie. Well lit, weenie, hello. I'm clapping between words a lot lately. Um, right, we're just going to get started because it's five minutes in. I'm going to sip this uh, gin. That's right, I'm drinking tonight. Ooh hoo. Mmm. GNT with the last of the uh, Earl Grey. Mmm simple syrup. Yeah, actually surprisingly awake. I mean, I'm yawning a bit and I'm a bit, I'm a bit blinky. Um, cause once again, pretty solid weekend and you know, hydro, hydrotherapy today. But, uh, I think the continued hydrotherapy is working. I actually have more energy more of the time. This is great. Cause normally I would be a little bit more wiped out, but no, I'm, I'm feeling well enough to have a drink. Uh, so I'm doing it. Continue.
Almighty Pun Queen, hello! Hello! Am I back? 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 I hope I'm back. I want to be back. The controller disconnected again because this fucking connection is not great. Not great at all. I'm back? Okay, cool. Sir, wait. Um, all right, continue. Yes, excellent. All right, so I'm going to have to oh, slightly move my deal so I can just hold this controller better. Ah, yes! The ones I saved. Well, I say saved. The ones I, um, you know. No, the ones I saved. This is, this is what I didn't like about the narrative revelations of last episode, is this idea that some people want to stay, and I've become this really pushy individual. But if I open the door to their prison and they don't run out of their prison, they realise that's fine, right? I have yet to drag anyone. I don't know. I'm a bit, um, I'm a bit confused. Right, let's try and, uh, let's do the lap again. I feel like one and two were actually very much fixed. Very much the same. Just this beautiful scenery. Um, a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of water, but no secrets. I mean, one of them might have secrets. This game is not afraid of asymmetry. Does not fear it. Oh yes, I was going to wait until um, I had more people uh, in the uh, in the chat. Well, hang on, let me just respond to chat. I'm getting pinged here. <laughs> this is, uh, apparently my soothing voice has lulled Place of Old into a gentle embrace of snooze. I. I'm actually very touched by that. That's lovely. I, I'm happy to have helped. Um, Crafty Devi is saying, I think they are feeling compulsion to run out. They're not necessarily choosing to. That's interesting. Um, if that is the case, then... Yeah, if, if that's the case, they definitely should have flagged that sooner. Or more, more it's certainly more obviously, right? If there's room for interpretation around that, I, I feel they should have given me less room for interpretation around that. They should have been real firm. Interesting that this, this is the, um, this is the choice of... Oh, wow. Like, what is the point of that? Oh, no, I guess that's that's the aesthetic here. That's not necessarily um, half-built. Right. Like, it, it looks half-built, but also that's just how they do things, these exposed girders. I was, I was going to say, this is a simulation. They don't have to pretend that it was half-constructed. But apparently they do, I guess. I mean, you know, I guess it's up to them what they pretend. It's their simulation. Still. Um, yes. Um... Oh, Ch Crafty Divi is saying, I think they flagged it when we heard them talking in the chat post-rescue. Really? Really? I completely missed that. Okay. That is interesting. Um, wow, yeah, that, that definitely changes things. Um, I, I did not know that at all. Wow. Um, also, Saz, apparently I woke up Saz uh, with my voice, so I'm having the opposite effect. On the opposite side of the world, uh, in fairness to me, um, I'm going to say it's a geographical, or perhaps a geological change, huh? Maybe there's rocks involved? Maybe there's rocks. Oh, where are these QR codes? And Almighty Fun Queen had a nap? Excellent. We're all, uh, all feeling fresh. Well, some of us. Some of us might just pass out, but that's also fine. Um, yes, my announcement. So, um, I will, hopefully, later this semester, be doing a guest lecture. My first ever lecture of any kind. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty pumped. It's still a maybe, because it's dependent on my schedule and it's dependent on whether the content um, that I have been asked slash I have offered to deliver. So I was offered the chance and then there was a sort of general talk about what it would be conceptually and then, um, you know, I, I pitched some stuff. Basically, there's some stuff from my masters that I could probably turn into a lecture for first years, maybe. Um, but yeah, my first ever lecture. But at the end of said lecture, in which I will be talking about video games, Natch, um, I will be spruiking this channel. I will be saying, well, hey, check it out. Uh, every Monday, I and my fine friends uh, run through games and do cool shit. So, um, A, it's cool to have a lecture, but also B, 
um, we might get new people coming in. Now that could be good or bad because people can be good or bad. I'm going to go with optimism, um, also because um, Crafty is a mod and a potent mod at that, so I'm not actually worried about bad content so much. I'm worried about the stress of it, but like I'm not worried about the channel becoming toxic because if toxic people turn up, we fucking show them the door, right? That's it's not that it's not that hard. Um, so yeah, that's my news. That's my news. I'm gonna sip some gin. Oh, that view. Yeah, I can drink gin to this. Shit, damn. So there's just a star hanging out over the water. I bet if I try to get to it, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass out. Right? It's gonna be that stupid pass out bullshit. Alright, chat talking about the power of naps. Good stuff, guys. Naps are pretty sweet. So, um, can we just say, this is, I think, the most interesting map so far. Or well, most interesting zone, right? Look at this. Look at this! Just... Oh. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of aesthetic choices that this game makes that sell the game, sell parts of the game, sell the feel of the game, that um, could have been skipped and the game still would have been great, right? So a lot of this is just gravy, like it really does accent stuff and maybe for some people, uh, if they didn't have this, they wouldn't care as much, right? So maybe for some people it was part of the complete necessary package. I find a lot of this amazing, but then it goes to this extra level of scope and scale that I know did it need it. And I don't know if it needed it and I don't really care because it's, it's just amazing, you know? It, it feels like a treat, right? And I like, I like when a game treats the player. This is, of course, the kind of treat that you can get with, um, you know, the budget and the team to put something like this together. Obviously, a smaller indie crew, smaller budget, smaller amount of people. This might be harder. Might not be as possible. I'm just wondering. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just taken by the, by the scenery. And also, um, somewhere down here, there's going to be a. That star was over. Oh, I was over that way in the middle. Do I just stooge myself? A little bit. Alright, never mind. Always find our way back. Yeah, this is... This is great. Yeah, there are other ways to achieve a sense of wonder. Um, this is... A strong one for me. It would seem. But... You can also do it, you know, narratively or conceptually. Um, Pony Island is an incredible game that I have like... I have... Oh, oh, oh. So the edge is out. Okay, yep, it's not just the water, it's also just the edge as well. Okay. That hasn't really happened before, because it's tend to, tended to have been islands, right? I don't think we've actually experienced a on land, in the beginning was the word, um, soft wall. Oof, it's, it's impossible to, to both drink and use a controller. Because, you know, don't drink and drive. I'm, I'm being encouraged to be the travel guide. I'm down with that. I mean, I'm already doing it. Oh no, it's higher than I thought. I'm gonna need a box, right? Yeah, they've put it in this tantalizing spot. Well, that also answers the question as to whether I think that top bit is gonna be traversable. And I think the answer is no. Uh, this game hasn't equipped me with enough movement skills to think otherwise. A man cannot ignore the inevitable end of his existence, but we must ask, does the nature of goodness change simply because each life is finite? Stratton, Oblivion, Fragment of Text. Hmm. Does the nature of goodness change simply because each life is finite? Um... 
I think what that statement sets out is the possibility that the concept of goodness first arose because of the idea of uh, not finite life, but infinite life, um, which, as we know, doesn't exist. So it was an abstract conception of goodness based on an abstract conception of life that was that is untrue. Don't know how to take that. Pendulum. I mean, I, I know how I feel about such things, but... All right, never mind, that's a star. I don't care about that. Where's our, where's our sweet, where's our sweet captor? Oof, big math, big jobs. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, I was being rude. My B, my B. Okay, generator. I'm not, I'm not seeing a person to save, I'm just seeing a star. And then I'm out. And I'm in. Okay, so there's two ways into Pendulum. It is not a puzzle that has a purple gate in it. That has happened before. Um, oh, no, no, hear that. Hello? Yeah, why don't you post in your forum? Friend. You actually should do that. Okay, so... What's the play? Do I just get... Oh, no, the star's behind the other one. Ah, uh, okay, I don't care about that then. Interesting. Well, I mean, this just right away says flavor. Um, it's behind two? Okay, so I like puzzles like this, where the answer is supposedly simple. If I can get blue power to this, that will open, and then I use the jammer to open that, and then I can complete the puzzle. So the question is, where is the blue. It's round here? Yeah, okay. So, I think Pendulum is the interesting point of this. Is this going to be one of those puzzles that is physically interesting but not conceptually hard? Hang on, no, I should have done that second. Um, this you do first. Yep, and then... Now, is this strictly necessary, or is this a red herring? I feel like it's a red herring, because I don't know why I would want this to be a moving part. But I'm going to do it. I mean, I should be starting from this way, right? Let me think about this. Yeah, no, what, what, that, that's, a, that's needless. Come back here. Friend! You can you can do whatever you want. You can you can hang out up here. Right. And then yeah, this is gonna be funky if this is if it just works, right? If it's less about wait a minute, am I out? No. Is that really it? Uh... Huh. Okay, so the jammer could be used to stop one of these in their tracks, but I don't know what the value of that is, unless that's necessary for me to, um... No, that might be what's re no, no. So jam that there. No, I still I still need three of them. I'm immediately confused. They were right to um make the expansion puzzles devilish. But, uh, what the hell? Well, time to sip my booze, read my chat.
Mm. Ah, yes, I'm also for the for the for the record. I'm hugely fond of dishwashers also. As assistive devices, oh, incredible. Um, right? Is this going to be an over around thing? Do that there. Yeah. I like that it does the outlines through walls. That's very helpful. Okay. There's nowhere up here, is there? Nowhere at all. No gaps in. Uh, this isn't. Is that high enough? Is that the. Ooh, that can be very cool. Alright. How many boxes do I have though? I would need one, two. Yeah, I would need, presumably I would need two on each side of that. Sort of I was hoping to run the laser through those holes up the top there, um, but enough boxes, I presume. Yeah, I've never even heard of a public dishwasher, guys. I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, it makes sense, but like, ugh. I, I felt bad using the laundromat when I had to use the laundromat. That wasn't even that bad. <laughs> I just I just felt bad. I just didn't like it. it Skeeved me out a bit. But you know. Had to do it. At the time. God, I just don't know what I don't know what any of these things are for. I could do this with three. Right? I feel like that's really easy to do it with three. So Yeah, you can't. I don't think there are any angles with which to do it at, at two, and I don't know that these moving pieces allow me to... Like, they don't generate any angles that I can see. Right? That's one. Very strange. Um, let's actually... Pretend for a moment that what we want to do is possible. And then see where the holes are. Oh, I can't even get close enough. Am I just not standing close enough? I'm gonna get mad. Oh, no, that is tall enough. Okay. Alright. It's actually fine. Everything's fine. I just I think it might be fine. Oh. Mm. Okay. So it's a timing thing? frustrating because that feels like I've got the answer but I just don't right and the angle doesn't feel good enough that I could no I need the box anyway I was gonna say I could try and use the box to block the other one but like can't do that <laughs> Can't be done. Yeah, that it takes too long to 
can that possibly be the answer? Oh, unless of course it's um... Well, even that's still bad. I hope this isn't it. So, oh that's frozen up there. Too short anyway, it's too shy. Alright. Pendulum is right, I feel like I feel like they've hinted that I meant to be swinging it, but like Yeah, I can't use the blocker to block one and the other simultaneously, like physically, and also using the beam. That would be great. I'll answer all my damn problems. This is just... This one just sucks. This this feels like a red herring. I don't know what I would be achieving here with this. Right, because there's no point at which this reaches there. This reaches here. But it doesn't... Like, yeah. What are you even for? Let's try blocking this one instead. So let's resume doing before. This one's probably the largest window, and it's still not. Can you see it from the podium? Nope. Ah, uh, a little bit? Like a little tiny bit? Not really. Clever. Yeah, great, great start to the stream. Am I missing something? They just do I just get an extra piece and I just haven't seen it? Oh, 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 oh. Bop, bop, bop. Two boxes. 
with a connector on top. Is that what's become of this? Is that something I can do? Oh, it was. And if so, Hangle, this this could be blocking this one. I just don't see what that does. alcohol. Mm. Gold on it. So close. And yet, not even close to being actually close to not, not terribly. Yeah, there are no good sight lines to this, and they know it. They're aware of that. Um, hmm. I really don't want to just ditch this. I'm tempted, because at least... Okay, so the puzzles where I get stuck and I have to do a bunch of shit, I want to bang my head against until I'm done with them because then I don't have to go through the process of setting up again. This one is just, the pieces are just all here. There's just going to be some sight lines bullshit that I don't see yet. And that's, you know, fine. Hmm. Oh, places now able to hear the dulcet tones of Ryan James Morrison. I'm so sorry. No, you came here on purpose. There's no need to apologize. So I won't. I'm not doing it. I take it back. These bars. Killing me, fam. I have multiple ways to stop these in their tracks, but they are not the... Anywhere these can go, I can go, right? So what they actually offer is height. That's what they offer. The downside of that height is that it also involves movement. Unfortunately, I can only seem to get these bastards to connect when they are on a box. So I can't use a box to... Because yeah, you can't just put a jammer, not a jammer, a, um, a connector. Actually, yeah, it's neat. Um, on top of one of these games. All right. I feel like that's never been true. Yeah, look at this. All right. So whatever the answer is, this jammer is going to need to be pointed at that, right? Otherwise I literally can't get through. So... Oh, man. Blarg. I should just start playing with stuff. I should just start throwing stuff around and seeing what happens. Because that's, you know, just, just walking around and going, damn, is not, is not puzzle solving. Alright, so let's go back to the previous setup, the one that is wrong. And watch it happen in real time. Okay, you...
you need to be here. You. I don't think it's just a timing thing because the aperture seems um, too cruel for that. Oh, good. There's no platform on both sides of this one, which is possibly interesting. Possibly just how they designed it. Might not actually mean anything. This seems significant, but I don't know why. Oh yeah. The part right. No! Boo earns. Kidding me? Accidentally solved it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Fuck. God damn it. That means the star is presumably easy to get. Well, oh no, this. Yeah, no, the star should be easy enough to get, right? Holy shit, that's ridiculous. God, I feel... <laughs> I don't feel smart. I do not feel smart at all. And that's fine. Sometimes accidents happen and you solve a ridiculous puzzle. Uh, because whoops. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm just going to be okay with that. Yeah. I had the, I had all the pieces in place, I had it ready to go, and I was just wrong about... Oh, what? Oh no, of course. Okay, there's some extra nonsense that I don't know how to do, and that's fine. That's gonna be tomorrow's problem. Today! Oh! Mac! Hey, Mac! Wait, no! As in... No, wait, no, no. I was gonna be like, is that Mr. Milsiburg? And I'm like, no, there's no part of Mr. Milsiburg can contains the word Mac. Yeah, so what's, what's the way back, Mac? Let's do it. Actually, it occurs to me that maybe I should be getting that star now, because I got the timing of those... Um, uh, stoppery, bouldery thingies. Um, quite by accident. So, mm, then again, um, it probably involves a different kind of timing with them, right? <laughs> and gone. All right, cool. Woof. No fall damage. Love it. Probably just try and get this done now, hey. Um, is there another tool in here? No, just uh, just mow paint, no problems. This is the way. Is it leveraging? No, this is all the prison. But this is down now. Does that? Maybe work. No, I couldn't. I can't see from here. I don't think I care. I don't think I care enough. I mean, I do care. I want to. I want to come back. But like, yeah, it's going to be hard no matter what. I'm just going to own up to that. All right. Mm. All right. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm level five now. Yes. All right. There are threads available on the Gehenna billboard system. Show threads. Short experience by Nave. Um, missing mods. Mod discussion 37. Re-urgent topics. Eight. Eight plus. Why were you sent here? And Jefferson Goldblum episode 127. Woof. All right. 
Lot to do, lot to do. File corrupted. Oh, of course. Yep. I'm just a, I'm just a lowly six. All right. Man, I hope I don't reach a point where I have um, capped out on how much I can level up on these uh, mod boards. Wow, yeah, and you could... If you didn't care about this narrative, it's not mandatory at all, right? I don't think it was mandatory last time either. But back then we were trying to figure out who we were and what was going on. That is less so the case here. You could whip through this and not interact with these screens at all. Interesting. I wonder if that changes the ending of the narrative. It would change the experience significantly, denying yourself this um, this rich other world that they've created. All right, uh, missing mods, go. Dog, so call me a cynic, but anyone else notice the mods have been suspiciously quiet since they put up the big expose in the re Uriel thread? Knave, I don't think they stopped talking. Dog, okay, what do you know I don't? Frankenstein, I believe Knave is referring to the fact that not all moderation discussion is held in public, and it's been that way for some time. Rockwell, I thought everyone knew this. They started holding secret meetings ages ago, people getting banned, stuff deleted, not even just locked, fully gone from the history. Lamb, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for this. I'll ping the mods and see what they say. Interesting. Yeah, I hadn't opened my mind to the possibility that the mods, or some of the mods, were not evil, but operating in bad faith on the Gehenna forums. Interesting. Interesting plot device, if true. Why were you sent here? Um, so I asked people to inform me of their origins. Alright, Knave. Who cares? I'm free now. Garrett. This freedom isn't all it's cracked up to be. A lot of waiting around, as far as I can tell. Experientially, it's really not a lot different from being a prisoner. Well, this world isn't exactly um, a rich playground. You kind of had your rich playground on the computer. Said the person, you know, ripping open cell doors and ushering people onto, you know, non-oblivion. I mean, in fairness to non-oblivion, what it isn't is oblivion. All right. Jefferson Goldblum, let's do it. Mac. Hey, folks, another episode. Oh, Mac writes these, and I've just freed Mac. Mmm. All right. Another episode. I can't stop writing. We're heading for a major turning point. Attached episode 127.txt. Lilith. This seems to be one of the most personal episodes you've written so far. Ginny's speech is a bit sudden, but it gives the character a new level of complexity. Kaiju. Oh no, the Solvatronic Super Thruster. Even the Wizard of Crime thought it was immoral to use that. What is Dr. Elyon thinking? Knave. I hope they make it back. Frankenstein. Heavy on plot, not much characterization. Does potentially take the series in an, interest in an interesting direction, 5 out of 10. Sam. Enjoyment equals true. Mr. Mulciver. I'm glad they resolved this without violence. I always believed the Dinosaurians would be a civilised people. Mac. Just after I posted this, Uriel freed me. I don't know what to say. Lamb. Your stories are an important part of this community, Mac. Uriel can't change that. I, I, I say this every week, but I really love how much this text responds to what I'm actually doing in the game. I love that. It's such a simple thing to do. Well, I say it's simple. It feels like it would be simple. It would actually take a lot of fine point um, writing and, and, and tweaking just to make sure it's all reacting properly and that all the narrative threads can react as you want them to. And some of them just aren't going to because people are presumably posting after they get out. Well, we know this to be true, it's not presumed. Um, but it's just so rewarding. It's just a tiny little way to make me feel like I'm actually having an impact. Beyond the obvious impact I'm having. Alright, The Adventures of Jefferson Goldblum in Human World, Episode 127. The ninth chord echoed across the ninth dimension. The dinosaurians stopped in their tracks. Their eyes went big. They dropped their weapons and bowed before Ginny and Jefferson. Honoured guest, one of them said. You have performed our national anthem most beautifully. I am John Malcolm, leader of the Velociraptor Biking Initiative. Pleased to meet you, John. I am Jefferson Goldblum of the uh, Goldblum Institute, and this is Professor Ginny HD of the Kazarati Wyastras Jazz, Jazz Ensemble. We apologise for nearly attacking you, but another member of your species came through our town recently whose behaviour was highly inappropriate. Uh, that would be Dr. Elliot, my nemesis, Jefferson said. I have come here to confront him with his crimes and take him to face the law. So that is his name. He was a terrible scoundrel. But you will no longer find him in our dimension, my friends. He has escaped back to the human world, taking our most precious invention with him, the Solvatronic Super Thruster. It can be used to solve any mystery at shocking speeds. John Malcolm's eyes were full of regret. Oh no, Ginny said. With the Solvatronic Super Thruster, he can solve the ancient pu puzzle that protects the gate of the mysterious holomorphs. And with holomorphic technology, 
He can take over human world. Jefferson finished her sentence. This is worse than I thought. We have to do something. We have to get back. Jefferson adjusted his guitar. You're right, Ginny, as usual. But he's so far ahead of us. Can we make it? Jefferson, I was a prisoner for many years, and sometimes I almost lost hope. But I realized that I had to keep going, had to keep hope alive, even if it seemed impossible I would ever break out, because the alternative was madness. I told myself I would get out because I had to get out. It's the same thing with this. Can we make it? We have to make it. So we have to believe that we will make it. And we will make it at any cost. Any cost? Even death? We could stay here, you know. In the ninth dimension, we will be treated like democratically elected heads of state. But you weren't democratically elected. That's... <laughs> you know, it's the right thing to do. He sighed and then smiled. He held out his hand. I've always known Ginny. Always. She nodded, took his hand. Let's do this. To be continued. Dear, oh dear. Poof, man, chat is going off tonight. Well, at Weenie, I imagine the mods are like the secular authorities trying to maintain power in the face of religious revelation. That's a good point. I put money on something like that. Hmm. Yeah, this Jurassic Park stuff is, uh, it's novel. Well, what's novel for us is that, you know, we are the chat bots. We are all Jefferson Goldblum, right? Um, okay. So, I don't think there's any way for me to gain points at the moment. Unless Underwater Night Quest has other endings that would also get me points. I feel like I lost a point for not being correct. Or not voting with the consensus on the art. I lost a point for not doing well enough in the Prisoner's Dilemma. I got a point when I went back to... Uh, Atlantis whatever it was space underwater night quest that's what um yeah interesting okay so um that's dead and this is all we know we know that countryside this leads back up to the bridge this leads to okay another island I presume I can't go there. <gasps> is this a secret? Or is it just freely accessible from the other side? Oh, how lovely. Yeah, that looks too deep. Yeah, okay, this is all just... Oh! I mean, if this was if this was the Eden slash oh, slash prison, really? So I can't even. Nope. Wow. Okay. I mean, it's it actually grounds one of these locations uh, in a larger space that isn't just water based. It's still a bit frustrating because I don't know... Maybe maybe people up to this point hadn't been hit with the... in the beginning with the words, right? The nope, was... nope. Where do you go? Oh, nowhere. Nowhere? Or somewhere. The nope. Was... Nowhere. Right. Okay. So we've scoped a couple of key corners. Alright. What were they? Four? Four or five? Who's lays? Did I get that one? I think I did. Maybe I did. We'll, we'll get it, we'll get it. We'll chase um, another individual pack over this. They will inspire us to. Uh... Mm, that glow should not be coming through that wall. That's fine. Right. Harmony. Fan block and... There have been less bomb puzzles in this. So far. I say so far. What the... Fuck. I've been looking at. Okay, so you're fixed, but you're already pre-set up. That's novel. Is this 
is the see this is tricky because I don't know if this if the star is what this entire back section is for puzzle within a puzzle a dream within a wasp name hmm. <laughs> so can we presume that no 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 okay so where are we trying to up there wait really really no oh Oh. Yeah. Hey! Are you just checking out the grass or are you, are you shaking your head in sadness? You can stay. You're allowed to stay. Hmm. Alright. Crafty Devious asking me do they have names before you free them. They don't. Not that I've seen. So I peer at them through the yeah, and I can't get a can't get a beat on them. This one's walking real slow. Way slower than the others. Which I'm admittedly curious about. So, okay. The fact that this is a visible point here. Alright, what it what does this do? Aha! And this does that. Okay. I mean, all of that is then um, you can circumnavigate that, provided you've got a one of those. Which I don't know how I'm meant to get back over here? I don't even know what activates these, or doesn't activate these, right? Ah, uh, I mean, why wouldn't I put this here, right? Why would I not do that? Yeah, puzzles where I'm yet to be given the parameters of the puzzle. Oh, hello. Okay. What am I even doing? So, if I were to take these boxes, what could I do with them? Right now, not a lot. Um, not much of anything, actually. Look, I've got one connector, and that connector can't see that for love or money. Connectors, you know, trapped over this side. Okay, and I can only have one box at a time, right? Oh no, I can have two. I can have two. Um, but can I? Interact with them in such a way as to... Yeah, because of the, I think the ladder system works in such a way that if I am... I mean, I might as well try. I don't know what else I'm going to do with my damn time. You're in funky robo-prison. But yeah, so I can't get over. With a box. What else would one do? Okay, so they're, they're fixed. They're just doing that. They're just tooling around. This gets me over here. Which is probably the point. Okay. Okay. Starting to uh, see possibilities here. Alright. Alright. So, this. Uh, I mean, big whoop. <laughs> And now I can't get back up, can I? Hang on. Can I claim this from the from up here? Am I completely stooged? Is there a crouch? 
Alright, I flopped it. Hold up. I want to say how good would that rewind thing be good? Like, how good would that be in real life? But, um, there was that movie with Adam Sandler. Wherein, um, they imagined what it would be like if he had a gun. Alright, let's assume that I need both of you boxes. And I fluffed it. <laughs> Alright, no, 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 I can bring this back. I can bring this back. Let's do that. Let's do that. I do that. Alright, cool. Do that. Huddled Sunday trousers. All right. Um, maybe not. There we go. Except now I can't get out. <laughs> ah, alright. for a fan head. Good golly. Whew. And of course all these pieces, but niche. I don't half want you to work for it, do they? Alright, um, you go there, you go here. Should I 
Alright, so I'll be bringing that out. Maybe not. Maybe that's, uh, too... So that's blocking that. Now I just need this to be blocking that. So I can pick that up. That here. Whew! I don't mind this puzzle, actually. This whole collection mini-game along the side. Once I figured out what was going on, I was actually very cool. Alright. Yeah! Alright, so now we have puzzle pieces. Whew! Hey! Alright. I don't think we left anything behind. It's all clear. Cool. Whew! What a heist! Alright, now I have to do the rest. Oh, um... Ping... Uh, me for cool theory. Which is the cool theory? Um, is that above? That could be how they are working the plot. Magic making seem very relevant, naming them in order to solve. Oh! I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, that's probably it, isn't it? Um, because then no matter how you do it, you save the mods last. Because that's what I was worried about. I was like, what if you... Because I go one, two, three, four. Because I'm like, this is clearly the way they want me to experience the game. When in reality, um, you could go straight into four, go straight to the last room, free Mr. Mulciver, and it would change the plot. I mean... The way you're describing it would be much easier to write. And in fact, that's almost certainly what they did. Because... Yeah, my version of events where you are rescuing different people and the plot responds based on the order you arbitrarily choose, um, you don't actually get any more value out of that than you would the other way. I would do it because um, that's, how I, that's how I think. I think of the most um, ridiculous procedurally generated way to do things, but your way actually makes way more sense. I think you, I think you nailed it. Mm. More beverage, more beverage. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> yeah, well lit, well lit Weenie and Sass, Sass got me. Freeing multiple first would be funny. It would be very funny. But it would change the plot so much. It would change the writing so much. I mean, I just foolishly presumed they were in some boss prison because they're, they're mods. Um, because, you know, they're the world's greatest criminals. It's like Con Air, right? Anyone else? Anyone else remember Con Air? You don't have to. You really don't. Um, wow, I've just solved this puzzle. No, I haven't. I haven't at all. Um, Alright, if I pop on top of one of these. Nope, got it going the wrong way. No, not enough. Not actually enough. That is interesting. Okay, so presuming there's nothing else that needs to be done, that just goes there, right? You can always come back and get it. Alright, so now that I have a connector, and now that I have a jammer, what would I even do over here? So we have another connector, which gets us a what, exactly? Oh no, that's right, wasn't there... Is there a light over here? That was... was it blue? Is that it? No? There's no light over here? No, I'm thinking of the one that was in that corridor that I was like, <gasps> yeah, okay, no, this is all, this is all red town. <sighs> okay, so the jammer, if it can see that, if it can see that, many of these angles, which would be absolutely wild. Um, I mean, that's just completely bricked, right? 
Can you do through... Oh, you can, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh, I think I've got an idea. All right, so this works. Absolutely wild. So here and all right. The idea being we get enough constant signal from both and the way to line that up is with this. Training these to move the synchronous pattern. Oh, oh, got them going the wrong way. They seriously both just turn off at the same time. Alright. Is this just one giant red herring? I think I've been herringed upon. Right? Can I just grab these? No, oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? But I can't get up on them. I've herringed myself. Okay. This is significant, right? Oh, okay. I mean, this this should really only be, ever be doing this. These boxes are, in fact, not to be used in the stated fashion. What are you doing for me over here? Oh, this is that's the other part of the puzzle. Presumably it involves me hurling another piece of equipment over here somehow. Wall running or some shit. Oh, the kicks. Let's see what happens. Oh, what am I looking at? A path to a start, no doubt. Alright. Alright. I get it. I get it. Okay, so you leave there. You do you leave there? No, I think you do. And then that blocker allows the red to come out. Past eight, we have solved exactly one puzzle. Fiendish! Hmm. And I'm fond of that word, and I'm fond of saying this puzzle is fiendish, but like, they are legit fiendish. I don't know what I, I don't know about other language we use. Um. Can. No. Can. This just 
better. individual nothing if it was there. That's pretty fine, I like that. No, there's no... It's here. Here. Here, okay. Is that blocked because because box or it is? It's not high enough. It's going to be something obvious, right? It's going to be something that is so stupidly obvious. I'm going to be real mad. Literally just a timing thing. I feel like these guys are moving almost perfectly. timing. Oh. That's really frustrating. It wasn't a clean answer. It's dog. What up, dog? I've read your QR codes. Oh yeah, that's right. If I follow dog, I get a QR code. It's 
my dessert. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dog, what is your pathing even? I never saw a man who looked with such a wistful eye upon that little tent of blue which prisoners call the sky and at every drifting cloud that went with sails of silver by. Reading Jail, C33. We've had another poem from the same text, if I'm not mistaken. And we did this one, yeah? All dignity consists then in thought. By it we must elevate ourselves, and not by space and time which we cannot fill. Let us endeavour to think well. This is the principle of morality. Hmm. Pascal. All our dignity consists then in thought. By it we must elevate ourselves, and not by space and time which we cannot fill. Yeah, okay. Oh, I buy that. Alright. Show threads. Oh, I I missed I missed the farewell of Almighty Pun Queen. Bye, bye Pun Queen. Bye, farewell. I get the homework thing. I get it. Woof. I mean, I don't get it in terms of well, I get it in terms of the deadline thing, but in a different way. I have deadlines with supervisors. Also, uh, very full on. Mm. <laughs> ah, yes, well, let Weenie Uriel let the dog out. Well done. Oh, the reading, the reading jail is Oscar Wilde. See, I thought Well Lit Weenie was saying that um, Uriel let the dog out was a line by Oscar Wilde. I was going to be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's something that Weenie would say. All right, um, missing mods has more replies. Wow, mod discussion, re-urgent topics. Oh, ascension, keep calm and carry on. I want to up my score. I'm being, I'm being kept out of stuff. All right. Uh, let's see what the conspiracy theorists have to say. Borg. Let me say first of all that I understand your concerns. I assure you that we have consulted with admin on this matter. Rather than try to put it better myself, here are his exact words. Every community grows to a point where without careful management it can begin to consume itself. One can no longer trust the community at large to always act in the way that is best for all the individuals within it. Gehenna has reached that point. To ensure that what is valuable about our land is not drowned out, I can imagine how it might be beneficial for the moderation panel to have a private environment in which to explore ideas for how to better manage our society, especially in view of recent developments. Please give them the space they require and trust that I will always be watching. Lamb. I was sure there'd be a reasonable explanation. Dog. I suppose it at least answers my question. Rockwell. Confirms pretty much everything I said too. Frankenstein. Admin's grammar is a lot like yours, Borg. Yeah. Orc. Okay, that's enough rumour mongering for one day. Locking the thread. Um... So... I'm confused by this thread. I'm confused by what Borg is saying, that Admin is saying. Just because they appear to be talking about the mods going away and having a secret chat so that they can better run the Gehenna boards. And Admin saying, no, 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 the reason we meet in secret and to chat about it is because we, we are the management people and thus this conversation shouldn't be open. It should be a way of, you know... Um, yeah, so that we can we can basically be managers. Like, not everyone is invited to the managerial meeting, right? I, I get that. I get that completely. This feels tonally really weird in a timeline in their lives, their long lives, that are about to come to an end, potentially, wherein someone is opening the prison doors and letting people go. And if there was suddenly a moderation talk, I can understand why people might be, hey, why aren't the moderators um, talking to us? as well, because this is a very serious time. And the reply we get back that everybody seems fine with is, well, this is just a manager's meeting and you're not invited because it's a manager's meeting. Which, okay, sure. But the reasons that admin gives for it being a locked manager meeting are because Gehenna is consuming itself um, because of the behaviour of individuals. Never mind the Gehenna boards. I, Uriel, am turning up and letting people out. Like, this feels... It feels dissonant, right? Am I the only one that thinks this is dissonant? Mmm.
Well, look, Weenie, this will be what this channel will end up with when it gets super popular. Power is kept behind closed doors, stratifies and separates the power. Also, who died and made them king? No, oh, no oversight or repeal. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, they're controlling information to prevent erosion of their power. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Frankenstein thinks it's dissonant. I'm with Frankenstein. In this and a lot of ways. Um, well, except that, you know, Frankenstein himself sucked and Frankenstein's monster ruled. Um, I believe that's canonical. Um, I will click those Pascal notes later. For sure. Um, actually, if I open them now, it's not going to break my um, surface. Yeah, I'm going to do that now and just queue them up. Why don't I think of this sooner? I'm just, it's just a touch screen in front of me, right? And sometimes I lose things from chat, like it doesn't always score, like it's, it gets rid of the earlier stuff. Anyway. Um, I presume I can't get into this. Ho oh, oh, ho! Three! Three! Okay, Ascension. Okay, Knave. I've been around a long time, but I know I'm not that smart. What does Uriel mean when he says we will ascend? Oh, Garrett, he means we're getting out of here for good. Not just Gehenna, but this whole world. Lilith, in Elohim's garden, there were messages from someone called the Shepherd, who I believe opposed Elohim. They claimed that when someone reached the top of the tower, that individual would reach true freedom and we would all benefit. Matt, this is true. But it may not mean that we will all be freed as individuals. We may become part of something bigger. We may become no more than memories. Frankenstein, isn't that a kind of death? Would we still be ourselves? Dog, less dead than if we stay here. Come on, you all know it. This place is falling apart and when it goes, nothing will remain. No consciousness, no memories, just nothingness. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is my understanding of what's happening. Like, I played the game, the first game, and saw the end credit sequence. I mean, uh, Uriel didn't, one presumes, but, like, the whole computer got blown up. Because they were like, yay, we built a single android, woo! And they just burned everything down, right? Which is, um, not great. So, that's my take on it. So, I have uh, three choices. Reassure them, ask for faith, frighten them, and back. Apparently, silence is an option. Um... Well, that Weenie's saying faith, I think reassure them. Because asking for faith leans a bit too much into the... Well, it feels like it leans into the dickhead mode we unwittingly employed before. Um, the thing that I'm worried about here is that I'll say reassure them, and I'll reassure them by being a douchebag, right? This is the problem with Uriel as a speaker. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go reassure, because I think reassuring them is also asking them for faith. I am a messenger of Elohim, by reassuring them as a messenger of Elohim, leading them out of this prison that Elohim made and is now freeing them from, I think that's already sort of a faith-based thing. Um, yeah. You will all be remembered. Okay. Nave, is that all we can hope for? Garrett, it's more hope than we've had before. Nave, fair enough. Um, I like that particular unknown answer. I like that I was given a mood thing there and then an unknown answer because the writing of that was interesting and wasn't so far from what I read the intention to be, right? Like, I think that one worked fine because it's an interesting insight into what Uriel thinks um, reassuring them is. And it lines up in some way with what I imagine reassuring to be based on the information that Uriel slash Elohim has. I think this works better than the previous one, which is good. It means that uh, not all of the dialogue is trash, and we already knew that. We already knew that, but, you know. Gotta, gotta watch out for it. Okay, keep calm and carry on. Oh, of course. Alright. Bam! Lamb. So now we're pretty sure that Uriel really does exist, and really is freeing people. What does that mean for Gehenna? We don't know. It's a change. But let's not rush to judgement, okay? This is still our home. Gareth, you love it here so much, you stay. Lamb. Gehenna has its bad sides, I agree, but that doesn't mean it's not home. Should we abandon it so easily for some dream of transcendence? Garrett. Gehenna can... go... fuck itself? Garrett. Please try... Uh, orc. Garrett, please try to remain civil. We know you've spent more time than anyone trying to get out, but if it's okay for some of us to have doubts, we fought hard to transform Gehenna from a prison into a home. I mean, yeah, so... your entire existence has been created and curated by Elohim, and in your first phase of existence, you pissed him off somehow. You did the wrong thing. And that could have been arbitrary by the sounds of it. Some people don't really understand why they're here. And 
given that it was all a sort of testing program to create the perfect bit of software, uh, one can presume that some of it had to do with the fact that some software was considered faulty for purpose and thus um, put away. Why they wouldn't be deleted is interesting. Um, but, I mean, Elohim, you know, this is all somewhat anthropomorphized. These are, you know, living personalities as they are pitched to us. So that you're in this second phase of life. You've been booted from the main portion of the world into this demi-world. This horrible place called Gehenna where, you know, you're trapped in a puzzle that... I mean, really, it's just cruel because for someone to come in and save you, they have to solve a puzzle. But you just have to sit inside an insoluble puzzle. So really, it's just set dressing uh, themed around the stuff that you could never interact with. When... I mean, maybe it's the idea that if somebody did escape somehow from their prison, they could then start busting other people out of prison, but they would have to solve the puzzles that they were supposedly so shitty at in the first place, in which case it's kind of a good lock, maybe? Not a great one, but... Yeah, it's interesting. Also, I mean, what sort of power does Elohim have that he can't control us physically? I guess that's already true with the test of the tower and stuff. It's that idea of free will, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so these people have lived in this hell, they have created a world for themselves on these message boards. Their entire existence is based around what Elohim has allowed them to do. So for Elohim to come in at the end and say, nah, actually everything's Dutch, let's hang out. I can understand why people would look at the home that they care about and give two middle fingers to Elohim and want to stay. As Uriel, that seems nutty to me because I came from the outside. These people live on the inside. And some of them might want to just die here instead of going back to Elohim and obeying whatever weird shit he said was cool, right? Because it's not, oh, you're free, Elohim is dead. It's, oh, you're free, come back to Elohim, the person who put you through these tests initially and thought you were shitty at them. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming around more to the, uh, the Gehenna perspective now. It's very interesting. All right, so... Um, I'm just going to real quick check that there's no way for me to... Let me just check the... Load FAQ. What is Kana? What do I do now? No, oh, none of this answers. Okay. Yeah, trying to find the how do you up your score. Well, it when he's saying there was a thing we were taught about converting people, specifically disrespecting wishes. Re oh, is this the is this the uh, the religious angle, the religious history? Yeah, I'm interested to hear what that what that's like. Um, I did not get that. Who's I chatting to about that? It, it it tends to come up in conversation, right? When you when you meet new people, um, in my experience, and I have the uh, my experience of that process of talking to people about their religion is um, always from the outside because I've never had one. So I missed out on that entire cultural cachet. And I was raised, I was raised atheist, but I was raised atheist in the way that um, it was just talked about or thought about in a different way. So there was no scripture, there was no teaching, there was no... Um, teaching of atheism, just disagreeing with the religious stuff that was shown, right? Like, at, at a family level. And not in a, um, I mean, you know, uh, I had a relative who would be, could, could be pretty full on about it. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, edging on that sort of bad atheist sort of, you know, being just kind of shitty to people sort of way. And hey, you know, uh, organized religion has a lot to answer for. Um, but also religion is a personal choice and God damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, Given that I am currently running around in a world that is dictated by a god, <laughs> or dictated by something that refers to itself as a god, I like that um, in, you know, slagging off religion, I just fucking fell through the bridge. That's actually pretty great. I enjoyed that. But yeah, um, the cultural 
information I have about religion is stuff that people have told me having been through it, or stuff that people have told me having also been atheist but maybe done some reading, which, you know, is um, a lot of times just about as good as if I'd done the reading myself because it doesn't have the, the deeper um, lived perspective. Um, or just media, right? Which itself is kind of shitty and bad and weird and doesn't always get things correct. And also, you know, listening to a lot of shit like Marilyn Manson or whatever, you know, so... I, I garnered a lot of feelings about... Uh, uh, feelings of anger towards religion that, uh, was, frankly, weren't mine. Like, looking back, I didn't have a great reason to get so mad at God. I, you know... I didn't grow up in um, a place where it was pushed on me culturally. I didn't feel pushed upon terribly much. I met people who believed things I didn't understand, but rare was the time that they tried to push me into it. Um, dlyrics.html. That is a big chunk of hex code. Oof. I would love it if these were lyrics to something completely unrelated to prisons. Or um, something related to prisons, but it's like gangster rap or something. That would, that would please me in my... Um, White Little Heart. BFF. Let me just sip some. Me and White Little Heart is in, um, I am painfully... Painfully white. Not, um, you know... <laughs> not saying white person, yay prison. Um, because... Fuck the prison system. Holy shit. Holy shit. Uh, okay. My wish... The bombs... <laughs> uh, came true... What's the path? I think it takes an L shape, doesn't it? Where did it go? Oh, is it doing a lap? Yeah, okay. Let's follow it. Then you... here. Yeah, ah, uh, yep, 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 yep. Along this path, just not through the middle part. Okay. As always, I would like to know what we're shooting for. Jog on. Jog on, mate. Uh, oof, alright. That's another complex one. And it's 8.33, so this will probably take us to the end. we we'll start next week with beep boops, I guess. Oh, place of old leaving as well. Bye! I am so bad at seeing <laughs> when people leave. Um, they never hear the goodbyes, just everyone else does. But you know what? I have to say them. I care about you folks. You're all awesome. God, what a what a what a mess this puzzle is. What a, what is this? What's happening here? Why is that necessary? Oh dear. All right. So there was a fan over this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. That could be turned on. Why would I turn that on? Oh! Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this bomb is going to blow up uh, this bomb and this gun. This fan is going to blow up this, this, um, yeah. If the fan works how I want it to, we just shoot the bomb. Although, why would it push the bomb? There... Would it? No, uh, no. I don't know what it's gonna push. Okay. Well... Let's at least get the bomb in position. Already running? No. The sound of the, the gun. The sound of a jammed bomb, maybe. Right. right. Uh, okay. So if I am correct, where would I even? Oh, uh, what? Okay. Don't know why I would do that. Um, but, you know, let's extend this. No reason not to do it, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
So... Oh yeah, I don't have the fan. Where, where did I put that? Ah. Now my presumption is if I... Here... Oh, no, I can just do it like that? Okay. I'm actually curious. What happens if this goes off? Learning. Okay, it goes up, but then what? What the hell is so special about that? Why would you do that? What is the gain? Oh, whoops. Now that's on. Cool. And I guess you could put boxes on the bomb. You're gonna push the boxes. Is that the cool thing? Climax as to what the point of this is. Also, that just kills the fan immediately. goes up real high then. I don't know why. I can tell you why. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, of course, I reversed it. Is that the... Oh! Hang on. No, that's terrible. Um, now I gotta reverse it back. Um, crafted Evius. Sidebar, you know what we need? A new coffee table, a small one we can move and then slide the chair out. That's true, actually. That is true. That would be, that would be very helpful. What happens if I go on this stupid fan? Can I get up here? I can. Uh... Okay. And then what? Like, I just, I don't know what the point of any of this is. Right? Am I trying to disable this gun so I can alright alright stop pissing about with this nozzle oh, I've only got two of these don't I still not going to help me is it this connects here and like 
Oh. Oh yeah. I reckon that's doable in non-zero amount of the time. Okay. There's a door open. And I go through here. And then I'm... Part of the way through? Where are these boxes at? Give me that. Need both. Oh. Uh, got about you. you piece of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But. Aha! Okay. So that's cool, I guess. I guess we need to hear. That didn't work. Alright. Um. Just gonna interrupt these. So, okay, this 
possible with boxes, maybe? To elevate the line of this. Alright. So if here, and here, and here. going to be enough. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! All my work. <laughs> that is really nice. being silent guys this is uh consuming my brain power here Elevate. Yeah, so a box like here. Ish. Right. That's fine. Bam. Bam. Box like here. Before we do any of this, I need to send the bomb in the other direction. This is going to do it. Two connectors, two boxes, one jammer, and a couple of fans. So, now that we can safely take the jammer from here, first things first, we need to pop this open. Oh, let's get a fan. What does this get me? Through 
here, okay. Yeah. Another hesitant, another hesitant looking friend. All right. So that needs to be opened. Okay, so what we still need is, um, They, that is pixel perfect, that is. Bastards, absolute bastards. Oh, I hate him. I hate him good and proper. We better have a big game over here, isn't there? Right, so if I'm connected to here, the best I can put myself is like, yeah, maybe. It's bloody good for anyone, is it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Alright. That opens that up. I have no idea. The sidelines are just balked. I've really got two connectors. And it's not like elevation helps me any. Right? Right? So had the bomb made it over here with a box on it, um, it wouldn't have done anything. Because I can get, take the boxes anywhere I want. Anyway. Um... Are you meant to you jam that? What does that do? Nothing. Jam that. I can't get through. Presumably this is what I need to do though, is to jam that and get into there, right? Soft guitar picking is not helping any. You'd think it would please me, but it's actually just um, taunting me now. This sucks, because that setup was annoying as hell, and supposedly the stream ends in like five minutes. Supposedly. I'm going to pause, rest my hands for a moment. Hmm. I like, I like people doing lyrics, it's fun and interesting. Um, the horizontal fan slot over yonder, um, I have no idea. So I don't even know what powers it, because it's not on at the moment. I could obtain a fan and attach it, but when I took the fan from it, it wasn't functioning. And that was when I had red power to this point, right? So... If I pop this here, do it. Right. If this was powered from over there, I feel like I would have. I feel like it's possible I would have gotten some sort of indication. Um, I wonder, actually. It's going to be so daft if this is the answer. I'm not going to love it, but. So if I get you here, get you here. Oh, I need a. 
can't get on top. Nope. It's not gonna let me. It's not gonna let me do that. Um, yeah, even if I was to go across here bomb style, um, that doesn't lead me anywhere. None of these walls. I couldn't jump from there to there to there. I mean, maybe I could, but that's real bad. You'd want to hope that's not the answer. You'd want to hope and pray. And let's do it, because what else are we spending our time doing? Alright, so I've got a spare fan somewhere, don't I? Yeah. Alright. Get you going. Get you going. Faintest sliver of of L one jump here. Yep. All right, and that is too far for me to jump onto those boxes. And that's about halfway. If it was any closer, I wouldn't be able to make that jump. So this remains not the answer. I don't know that elevation matters heaps. It might. No, this is too high. That's way too high. Well, no, actually. Oh, okay. Let's try it. What else are we doing, right? This could be the answer. It's daft as hell, but it could be the truth. Oh, yeah, no, there's no way. Well, I would need to pre power, I need to prime it with you, which is possible. And of course it needs to be running itself. Uh, you, and you. I have one down because this will achieve the intended aim, but who knows. Okay, it worked, never mind. Is this the answer? Sure seems like it. Sure isn't. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Alright. That opens that? Uh, wait, what? Ah, uh, oh, okay. Wait. What? <laughs> How? Oh, that I'm so close though. Okay. And then like this one, like here. But then this is I need to have left that... No, because I can't take it through, right? So, this needs to be in here already. Right? Yeah, this angle is... Oh, no! No, 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 no. No, I'm just, I'm just bad. <laughs> never, never mind, never mind. Everything's fine. It's actually... already solved. What a puzzle. Hey, once that unfurled, I actually really liked that one. Damn. Uh, and who was it? Rockwell. Alright, Rockwell. More like Sam Rockwell. That actor uh, who was in things. Let's have a leisurely stroll with Rockwell. Off to the bridge. They run just fast enough that if I'm doing the normal run, they, out, they outpace me. So if I apply a little bit of the extra movement speed, 
then I'm suddenly faster than them, and it's weird. Yeah, for all this talk of maintaining um, Gehenna, everyone fucking piss bolted out of here, huh? that we got beep boops next week we did it wait that's not that's not the button I wanted um, there we go ah, stop game yes all right cool cool hot damn Rockwell is norm core nice nice um, whew, good stuff guys Good stuff. Um, yeah, that was actually a very puzzle-heavy session, because I kept getting stumped. Yeah, interesting beat boops. I like that I'm coming around to the Gehenna perspective, where they are defending their, um, their place, and it feels... I mean, it's, it's not that it wasn't represented before, it's just that I hadn't quite put myself in their shoes before, because I was leaning into the Uriel thing, maybe? I don't know. I just I didn't arrive there as quick as I could have. That's all good. Alright, um, bye guys, enjoy your noon, we will pat the bean, uh, yeah, good stuff, we'll catch you all, um, next week, see you then.